Peter Immaculate, now Kenya, in Samba. I work with um, the Ministry of Health Uganda, and I support systems to prepare for responding to epidemics. And that starts all the way from identifying the problem, reporting it, um, treating the sick, identifying more cases until we fully end the problem. So you realize that the One Health concept is a very important tool or approach in that the different players in the health system have to come together. We know that there are over 200 diseases that can be transmitted from man to animals and some are transmitted from animals actually to man. And many others are within the environment, for example, cholera and dysentery and hepatitis. And it's until we appreciate the role of the different experts, the veterinarians, the medical doctors, the nurses, the environmentalists, and them working together to make sure that they can approach the problem holistically. That way we can attain health at the national, the local, and global levels. Um, the One Health approach basically is not new. What is different is that there is continual recognition that there are some emerging diseases that have not been with us. There are some re-emerging diseases that were there before, but are coming to the front all over again. Meaning that we have to take multiple steps and multi-pronged approaches when thinking and preparing for these diseases, when responding to these diseases, and that means that if we work together, it is easier to identify the problem at source, to manage and target interventions that are holistic, that may tackle the problem at the animal side or the environmental side. And when it crosses to the human side, we should be able to understand it and work in earnest so that we can stop this problem. The approach is really targeted at different levels. It's now looking at the pre-service training. There's continuous engagement of students before they finish universities, certificates, diplomas, and degrees. It is entailed um, at inculcating this interest in them to think beyond their discipline, because this is a multidisciplinary approach. When it comes to those in service, we look at the health worker who is already started to work. We look at the environmental health expert who is already in the field, as well as the other participants or experts, to work together and appreciate the interest they should pick in harnessing health as one. And that's why we say one world, one health. The third aspect is for retraining and retooling people who have been in the field, who have been working, to look at this not as a new thing, but as a good approach in informing and working together. For example, when there is a problem, let's say there is a ball outbreak in Uganda or in any other country, we expect the veterinarians to look for the source of the disease among the animals and inform the health team. The health team should work with the environmental health team so that they don't contaminate the environments in case they introduce the virus where it wasn't. That means they have to safely bury people, make sure they supervise the burials, they make sure the sewage that is led to the environment is already treated so that the virus is actually killed before. So this all brings in all this expertise together. And therefore, if we collaborate as sectors, as disciplines, as teams, the problem is surmountable and we manage these problems.